Among the events connected with the anniversary of the Boston Marathon bombing is a blood drive tomorrow morning at City Hall. It's part of a national interfaith initiative by the Ahmadiyya Muslim Community USA called Muslims for Life. To tell us about the initiative is our guest from the organization, the missionary in charge and national vice president, Nassim Mahdi. Thank you very much for being with us. Thank you very much for having me. I want you to uh, take me back to the start of this campaign. This is long before what happened last year. This goes back to, I guess, around September 11th. 2001? Uh, to September 11, 2001, I was in Canada and when uh, that tragic and uh, heinous crime was committed, I was watching and uh, I immediately said that it is not enough to, you know, think that this is wrong, but we should do something physically. So at that time, I approached the Prime Minister of Canada's office and offered them that we can give you 10,000 volunteers uh, to give blood and uh, to save lives. So that was much appreciated, but at that time the, that blood was not taken because it was not needed. On the 10th anniversary of 9-11, I was here in the uh, United States and uh, I was uh, uh, invited to a program in White House where President Obama spoke about the, this heinous crime. And then some families of the victims of 9-11 were also present. So at that time, I mentioned it to, the, to President uh, Obama that we want to give blood in a, in a blood drive which will be nationwide and we want to have at least 10,000 pints of blood collected and he very much appreciated this. So in 2011, we uh, did more than 10,000 pints of blood and now every year we are doing it in the last three years we have done more than 33,000 pints of blood all across the country and according to Red Cross we, we were by the grace of God able to save 100,000 lives here in the United States of America. So what made you think about this? I mean lots of people reacting to that event could have reacted in different ways and, and you react by thinking about a blood drive. The, the, the reason was that uh, Unfortunately, those people who attacked on 9-11 uh, were so-called Muslims. And uh, everywhere there was uh, a propaganda and also the, the real feeling that why the Muslims are doing this. They, 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 they believe not in the sanctity of life. Are they, are they beasts or, or, or animals? Or how could you think of killing 3,000 people without any crime they have committed in one blow? So I thought that until and unless we do something very special, that we come out and give our blood and say that this blood is being given to save lives and this is real Islam and Islam is not uh, the religion which would promote terrorism and killing of innocent civilians. So we were very happy that uh, in our initiatives, uh, we were supported by all faith groups, the Christians and Jews, the churches, synagogues and the Hindu temples and Sikh Gurdwaras. And everybody said that you are doing a great job and we will come and, and donate our blood. So it developed into an interfaith initiative. Well, uh, interfaith initiative means uh, just like what you described, the contact, you meet these different people or you have the people who will be showing up tomorrow. How important is that, just making that kind of contact? This is, this is very important that we come to the conclusion that all religions uh, promote sanctity of life. No religion gives you license to kill. No religion would uh, uh, promote uh, uh, the feeling that you get out and kill people. So this is not only uh, a, an opportunity to, uh, to, 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 be, to be engaged, but at the same time, our hearts are coming closer. Muslims talking to Jews and, and Christians and, and, and Hindus and, and even atheists. And we say, as far as humanity is concerned, we are brothers and sisters. We, we should promote peace and harmony and not the feeling of hatred. Well, the other thing that, that I do remember from last year, and I think the thing that many people in Boston want to remember is that once something bad happened, there was a response. People were trying to do something positive. So it was, uh, it was uh, amazing that uh, I have been contacted by, by White House and they said <clears throat> that no Muslim group has done something 
which is uh, worthwhile. So what is your plan? So we have, we told them that we have already arranged a blood drive in the state house. And, and, and we were very fortunate that the state assembly passed a resolution, uh, you know, in, in favor of our initiatives. And they said that uh, we, we commend the, the, the effort of Ahmadiyya Muslim community who is uh, bringing people together and uh, we are honoring the victim of uh, this tragedy. So we should mention to our viewers if anybody would like to help out tomorrow, this is going to be, what is it, 11 o'clock? It's 11 o'clock and it will be till 5 o'clock, so we encourage that people should show up um, earlier so that uh, they don't have to wait for, for, for long. And because sometimes, uh, you know, they have to go through a system and an assessment, so it is, it is better that everybody comes uh, earlier. And this is inside City Hall or near the City Hall uh, building? I'm 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 a stranger well, here. I'm, so I'm I don't sure. Know. I, well, I'm I, sure I once just, they get I, there, there'll, there'll be somebody. I just flew in from uh, Washington, so I, I don't know, but I'm sure they will find. Me. There are banners all over, and there'll be people uh, guiding them. It sounds as if they'll be hard to miss. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you, Chris. Nasim Mahdi.